relationships in an ecosystem, how organisms interact. Uh, one of the most common is predator versus prey. In other words, one type of animal eats another. Uh, you've got you know herbivores eating plants. You've got carnivores eating meat. You've got omnivores eating both. But most organisms are eating one another. Uh, there's also competition. Two organisms can fight over the same stuff. They're not necessarily eating one another, but they're competing for the same limited resources. You know, here we see an example of two animals of the same species fighting over either reproductive rights or territory. You could have a, a watering hole and have an elephant and a giraffe fighting over, you know, the, the limited amount of water in the puddle. Uh, then there's symbiosis, which comes in three different forms. Mutualism. Both organisms benefit. Uh, if you see these, you know, pictures, uh, examples like the honeybee uh, benefits by getting food and the flower gets benefit from uh, being reproduced or pollinated so it can reproduce. In the other cases, you've got, you know, one organism uh, eating, you know, parasites or something that might irritate the, the host and the other organism is, uh, is protected or is given food. Um, commensalism. Here we have one benefiting and the other one not really being affected at all. Um, you know, the zebra and the egret, the zebra's digging around for food, eating the grass, insects and other organisms scurry away, and the egret's, you know, uh, you know, benefiting from that opportunity without really affecting the zebra at all. Or the lichen on the tree, you know, lichen's light, tiny, doesn't affect the tree, it's not taking nutrients from the tree. The benefit to lichen is it gets a, you know, a nice home up closer to the sun. Uh, but here we have parasitism, where one benefits and the other is clearly harmed. Uh, you know, mosquitoes, uh, you know, their their effect on mankind is, is well documented with many of the parasites they carry in their effort to get blood. Uh, the disgusting fish parasite that we see here, uh, you know, attached to its tongue. Uh, and then in the upper left, you've got one species of bird paras uh, being a parasite on the nest of another. That bird is... Uh, the parents of the of the owners of the nest end up taking care of it, the freeloader for free, or it can go a step further, and the actual uh, you know speckled bird nest can will actually push the other ones out and take over the nest until the parents realize it and it's too late, and uh, that's not good. And there you go, all the different relationships that organisms have with one another in an ecosystem.